Hello, David here, and we're back. I'm back here again with uh, Russ Dizdar, an amazing, amazing uh, warrior for God. Um, we've been talking about program multiples and um, how Satan, Satan himself, uses his warriors, his people, to take little babies and program them at young ages, I mean little babies, uh, to, to torture them so that uh, he can get into their brain and in, into their soul, into the system, and program them to kill uh, to manipulate, mm -hmm. uh, to take down, we talked about taking down pastors. Right. Now, you had mentioned to me, a st you told me a story I'd like for you to share sure, sure. that deals with this. Sure. We're doing a conference in uh, Groton, Connecticut, and um, and I will mention, and because he doesn't care, Ali Marzulli was there, there were other leaders there, and so I'm doing a segment on Bohemian Grove exposing the real reason for the ritual they do. Okay. It, that whole thing of cremation of care is just to cover for the real human sacrifice that goes on there. Yeah. So as I began to tell the reason why the summoning of demons and sinning of demons on the crowd, um, a woman in the conference switches, uh, this is a, they would call themselves a cult multiple or a chosen one, switches personalities to a male German-speaking personality, demonized, jumps up in the crowd and begins to scream at me. We must stop you. We must cut your head off. Uh, we, you're, you're telling the secrets. You're not allowed to tell the secrets. The old ones are coming. You cannot tell these secrets. And was yelling and screaming. So L.A. Marzulli and another leader took this person out of the room. I finished the presentation. Here's what we found out about the person. This is a pastor's wife of the largest Assemblies of God in Massachusetts. Wow. She even teaches Sunday school, but is unhealed. And so the truth is, there, since the 70s, there are, there are programmed multiples that have been put into churches that are unhealed, that have subpersonalities, that have demonic <laughs> stuff, and they may be there to monitor pastors and leaders to right. tell the covens. They right. may be there to do warfare against the church. They may be there to bring down a pastor. Why the 70s? You said since the 70s. What? Well, if you, uh, when we go all the way back to the 50s, when they, the whole project was beginning in the United States, um, by the time they're in their 20s and so forth, when we backtracked, when we found infiltrating infiltrators like this, people, we would engage them to, to bring them out of it, to come bring them to Jesus. And and so we would track them backwards. We would just, where'd they come from? Where, so on a, on a broader scale, we find that most, many of these people infiltrating the church and Christian ministries, it began to be done in the early 70s. They began to release them. Because they came over in the 40s and 50s, right. they had the babies. Right. The babies would have been 20 years old, 25 right. years old. It makes sense, right? Right. That's when absolutely it, it started manifesting absolutely. as adults. Absolutely. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to talk about how how this gets repaired. How how we're going to blow Satan out of the water. Okay, the fix. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before I m get into that, though, I want to mention something we've all seen in movies. I saw one of the most scariest movies I've ever seen called The Exorcist, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. back in the 70s, and I mm -hmm. couldn't even go to sleep at night. It really mm -hmm. did it bother you. I mean, I, when we, yeah. well, back when I was lost in the early <laughs> 70s, uh, we just all went, probably went partying and oh. watching it, and it was just all crazy. <laughs> okay. It was scary. Yeah, but, um, yeah, but yeah, well, I happen to be I feel like I was saved, yeah. and maybe that's what affected me. But I, but uh, in the movie, and and you see this all the time in the Catholic uh, faith, is the guy gets holy water, the priest, and he mm -hmm. says all this stuff. I guess in Latin, throws yeah. water and does all these rituals. I mean, yeah. and again, I'm not trying to slam, you know, any denomination or, or religion, but does yeah. that hold water? Is that does well, that work? It, here's what it does: it makes the de it gives the demon time. And it makes the demons mad. <laughs> so in other words, it doesn't work. Come on, Russ. Look at Jesus when he just, with authority, he just commanded them. Right. How did he train us? Are right. we supposed to read books to them? No. Are we supposed to wear robes with them? No, Are we supposed to throw water not. on them? Right. So when we watch what Jesus did in Luke's Gospel 10, he trained people what to do. Yeah. They came back all excited. Hey, even the, even the demons submit to us in your name. Right. Because he said, I have given you authority right. to tread, to tread 
come against this, right. to overcome all the power. Not to have conversations. Right. It, yeah, you don't it, have to do that. You'll hear conver- you'll hear them. Oh, yeah. I mean, they but, will do that. They're but, real entities. I but, mean, they're going to do that. But you don't uh, it, it, you don't participate in you're, that dialogue. You're, you're not there to talk about, you know, it's not a tea, it's not a tea conference it, meeting. But, so, in other words, you don't spend all no. this time doing the holy water no. and saying all this stuff because, no. yeah, you're right. All it does is rile because them up. the right? only thing that subjects them is the, in the authority it's, that we have in the, to order them in the name of Jesus stop and, that and the, yeah. you're going to cut you know and then finding out how many so so that even when they want to harm the person we learned stop you know what when we when we command them with the authority we've been given in jesus name right that's what affects them stops them and can cast them out so how can a person out there listening to mm-hmm. us and and i'm going to say there's several categories one would be a person's living or knows a program multiple yeah. someone who's demonically possessed mm-hmm. it could be someone out there that and i don't know if this is possible that is a program multiple and the real person is standing up going i know something's not wrong with me yeah. i mean i mean i know something's not right with me mm-hmm. Right. I think I might be one. Right. What do you tell these sure. people? Sure. And many times they learn three three primary categories of knowing whether you're a program multiple. Voices in in, in the head, conversation. They voices, hear voices differently okay. than you you know we would hear. Secondly, they have missing time. They don't know where they were at certain times. Okay. Thirdly, they may have had a whole childhood of blocked memories. Uh, that in every those are at least three categories. Okay. That will. Help them know they're not crazy. You're not. They're not crazy. You're not insane. Something happened but to you. Some, they could be a program multiple. Right. Something happened when they were a baby. So yeah, and and, okay. and 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 ultimately, no matter what else I say, go to Jesus. He has all the answers. He has all the healing. He has all the compassion. He knows what they did. He knows how to deal with demons. The bottom line out of everything I'm going to say, go to Jesus. He is God. He's the Savior. He's the Healer. He's the Deliverer. Amen. So you go to Him. Now, in Amen. regular possession, we command a demon to leave a person. Okay. Jesus used the word ekbalo, get out. Okay. So they get. So the demon leaves a person. Okay. But in programmed multiples, like we said, you have personalities that are split and okay. programmed. There might be demons on these, but not over here. So if you command demons to come up and out, you need to get them out of there. But then you have programmed and then damage to the human personality. You okay. can't command that. Authority doesn't deal with human personality. Okay. This is where inner healing, the Lord is near the brokenhearted. He's there to bind up the wounds. He's right in there. So that we ask Jesus to begin to break programming, begin to heal the personality. He never, Jesus, God does not come against human personality. He comes to save it, heal it, restore it, make it new. Okay. So first thing is cast it out. The cast second, demons out, right. The second thing is to heal. The inner that healing. healing. Right. The inner healing has yeah. to come in. Yeah. So <clears throat> a person out there listening to us has a wife that has uh, that's a program multiple or is demon possessed or the wife has a husband or a friend or whatever and they're going you know i need to deal with this mm-hmm. what can that person do uh, can they take mm-hmm. steps to cast out a demon yeah i mean every believer and I, and here's and we we every single christian has been given authority the number one thing is go to luke's gospel chapter 10 and say lord i thank you i accept the authority you've given me and i will use it so accept the authority that you've been given and get ready to use it. And if you gauge, engage somebody that has demons on them or in them, there's a lot of, the Greek word is deomatozoid, demonization. Okay. So <clears throat> you're going to either command things off of them or out of them uh, to engage. And just by that authority, you go in with authority, you take charge and you take okay. authority now, in Jesus' name. First of all, they need to be a believer. Oh, you gotta be a believer. Don't do this if you're not a believer. No. <laughs> no. It could boomerang and it cause could, Yeah. You just, might end up a program multiple, you know. <laughs> it, 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 or or if you're even alive. But okay, so is prayer necessary before you do this to, to pray first before well, you go in? Well, there's no question there's an advantage if you can get prayed up and get really ready. Okay. Sometimes, right. like if you're in church and you meet somebody and somebody, a demon manifests, well, you don't, you don't, you can't say, wait, 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 I'm right. gonna, I want to go fast and pray. Right. <clears throat> With authority, yeah. because your authority is <clears throat> overwhelming. Right. The authority Jesus gave us is massively overwhelming. Right. Even the Spirit of God inside of us, greater, like you said, greater is He who's in us. 
Everything we have in Jesus is vastly superior, but it must be known and then used in dealing with the demonic realm. Even our our sense, there might be like a discernment, like I, I feel there's a, something wrong with that person. And as you begin to pray, maybe all of a sudden a demon comes up or they, they tell you, that I know there's a demon inside, it's inside of me telling to kill you. Or what. So you, you begin to, you take charge immediately. Okay. You, you begin to order the demon and, you know, and then ultimately you're there to cast the demon and get it out of there. But not a lot of words. You You just take authority, you have the mind of Christ, you pray the Holy Spirit's in you and acts through you. Yeah. Because that's who who has the authority anyway, right? Right, because if you're not a believer, you you don't have that. You're not given, you don't have the Spirit of God, you don't have the right to do it. Like the seven sons of Sheba in the book of Acts. The demon said, Paul I know and Jesus we know, but who are you? So the demon inside the person attacked them. Wow. Okay, so th- I wasn't going to ask this question, but I have to now. But I'm convinced after us talking, there's people in church and even in the pulpit that are program multiples. Yeah. If, if at least demon yeah. possessed. Yeah. Do you believe that? Yes. Okay, and I'm talking known pastors, maybe yeah. that we see on television or that we've heard of. Yeah. What do you do? What would I do? What would a person out there do if if they're encountering this demonic spirit in church, do they keep quiet and just go to another church? Do they keep quiet and just deal with it? Yeah. Uh, what, what? Yeah, staying quiet and doing nothing only aids and abets the dark side. It actually gives them freedom and gives them rain. It's only when the believers, so number one, start praying about it. Lord, show me what's going on here. Pray for exposure. God, expose what's going on here. Show what's going on here begin to really target if you if you suspect something demonic going on ask the whole yes the lord to give you wisdom and insight but also begin to pray against and pray for exposure ultimately you want things to be exposed uprooted if there's somebody that's coming in there purposely to do it now you've got regular satanists and occultists that are telling stories how with demons they've gone in to mess with christians and mess with churches anyway um, and as a believers, we should be able to blow that out of the water, in, you know, with the authority and, and have your armor, armor of God on and so forth. But when it comes to the sophistication of a program multiple, here's the difficulty. The main person may not know yet that they have their, when they create a programmed multiple, they create the main person to be amnesic, not know what's going on. Wow. And... Wow. So the big thing is, it's not just, you know, and we don't want to live by innuendo and think, well, <clears throat> that one's that one. and that. We, want to, we want to pray about it and know what's, what, we have to live in truth. What is true? If it's true and, and we're praying and God is opening the door to see what's there and beginning to show, then we need to go after that. Amen. Because Amen. it's a dangerous thing. Now, if they need help, can they call you? Is there a contact a yeah. way they can contact you? On our website, there's actually how to get a hold of us. There's even a hotline thing uh, they can go to. But there is a way to do that. We also have free, absolutely free training. It's called Freedom Encounters. How to engage the deliverance side, the programming side, the inner healing, to see Jesus restore and bring inner healing. All of that we have on our site. Uh, Training, free, absolutely free. What's the site? Shatterthedarkness.net. If you go to shatterthedarkness.net, scroll down a little bit, it'll say free training courses. How to help somebody, it's 25 hours long. It's a training course, and it's it's absolutely free. So just download it, take it, and use it. And um, the little bit you're hearing here, that's going to give you a lot more explanation how to do it. Amazing. Russ, thank you so much. Thank you. And... um, I lied because I want to do one more segment with you. (laughs) Folks, when we come back, I want to talk about, I'm going to ask Russ here about, is there program multiples in the government? And right now, are they being released to carry out the agenda? Mm -hmm. We come back. Stay with us. God bless.